This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to go through the last of the practice tasks for Objective 4.2 in the study guide for Microsoft Excel Expert exam. So we are again on the invoices table. Um, the third way I'll show you how to create a pivot table, and, and this takes a tiny bit of prep work, but if you have to do a lot of pivot tables, it may be worthwhile for you. And that is to add it to your quick access toolbar right at the very top here. So now I have pivot table up there. I can either just click on it with my mouse or I can hit Alt-6 since it's the sixth command in my quick access toolbar that opens up the create pivot table dialog box for me. We want to use the table that's already selected. We want to have it in a new worksheet again. We'll click OK. We need to rename this worksheet. I'm going to use my favorite keyboard shortcut to do this, which is Alt H O R. And now we can call this by price as they've asked us. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is sum the quantity field by the unit price. So we are going to search in our field list here for quantity. Once we see that, I'm going to drag it into my sum section. Next, we want to do it by unit price. And we'll move that to our rows. Next, we want to group the unit price field in $10 increments. OK, so as you can see, it actually has a separate row for every price, which you know doesn't provide a lot of uh, summary for us. We've got 114 rows in this pivot table, probably too granular for what we really require to analyze this. So what we'll do is we'll go into Analyze in our Pivot Table Contextual tab in our ribbon. And we are going to go in the Calculation section. Excuse me, we're going to go in our Group section into Group Selection. And instead of starting at 2, we are going to start, we've been told to start at 0, to finish at 270, and to have $10 increments. So let's click OK. So now our table has been brought down to a easily digestible size again. So now what it's taken is the unit prices that were from zero to ten dollars have now been grouped together. And of those, there are forty four thousand seven hundred and twenty, and it goes through that for each of the brackets that we set up. Those ten dollar steps. Uh, last, what we need to do is to enter the units sold in the lowest price range. Okay, and so what we're going to do is use a get pivot function. So first off, they like us, it's underlined, so they want us to type in units sold in the lowest price range. Okay, and then in cell D1, create a formula that returns the number of units sold in the 0 through 10 group. So this is, this maybe seems harder than it is. All I need to do is hit equals. And then I just need to click the cell that I'm interested in. So by doing that, Excel has already po automatically populated this with a get pivot data function. So it is getting the quantity for the table that starts in A3. And what they want is the group where the unit price is zero. So that first one there. So I can hit enter. And there we have it. There's our 4720. So that wraps up all the objectives, or excuse me, all the practice tasks for objective 4.2, um, which covers pivot tables. The next set of videos will be on pivot table charts, which are an extension of what we've been working on today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button so you'll know when I get the last set of videos and wrap up all of the objectives for the Microsoft Office Expert Exam for Excel. Thanks for watching. This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory.